Right, so a very quick video on the ultimate alternator motor on the BMX test bed. The reason I'm using a BMX is because it's got 20 inch wheel which isn't over geared and I don't want to use uh, an intermediate gearbox. So what I've got is an alternator running straight on a, a 12 tooth uh, drive sprocket um, to a 60 tooth um, driven sprocket uh, on a 20 inch wheel. So gearing wise the alternators will spin at 43 20 rpms so that does give me theoretically 55 mile an hour which is way over geared but not as bad as if it was on a mountain bike i shall make a reduction gearbox at some point right so alternator is wired uh in uh the y format so there's your joiner on your common uh the three phases are running in here and i take three phases off to a three phase rectifier, uh, six diodes with a positive and negative coming out of it. That goes into PWM. PWM has toasted this little digital uh, meter. So probably because of pulsing, who knows? Don't care really, cost a quid. Uh, but green is 12 volts, red is 24, and it works best on 12 or just a little bit lower. But if it's too low, then you'll get a stall in on the motor. I did try the alternator in Delta. It's terrible. There's no torque. It's horrendous. And I know this is overgeared, but even so, it was horrible. So that's why I've gone uh, into the Star Y format. It's mounted on my turbo trainer, which is my proper turbo trainer for doing proper bike racing and things like that. So I'm not going to wreck it, but anyway, I shall demonstrate on it because it gives some load. The controller is a, a whole 20 pounds worth of Chinese... Uh, e-bike controller, it's good for 45 amps, uh, 64 volts, so I am popping into it, 60 volts nominal, with this, which is 16S, each one of these packs is 16S, uh, 6, 6P, uh, they're reclaimed laptop batteries, so they are okay, they're good enough for my other e-bikes, um, need two for this, and yes, these are overloaded, but I don't really care, frankly, they don't get hot. Um, Anyway, so there we go. We've got a little digital meter on these because I like these packs. Um, these are all just bespoke made by myself. Anyway, there we go. They've got BMSs in and everything. They're, they're no problems. Just put these on my other e-bikes. No problem. This is a bit overpowered for it. There we go. Okay, so they're in parallel. So we've got volts on both of them. If I don't give them both, then we'll overload them. So we'll go for both. Okie dokie. We're in. Now... I know the drive sprocket is slipping, so if it goes bangy bang, that's the drive sprocket, sprocket slipping, uh, which is going to get welded up eventually. In fact, that's going to get replaced by something proper. But here we go. There's 28 simulated miles. Let's say that again. 28 simulated miles per hour, and it does work on the road because uh, I've been on a private road to do it, officer. I'm surprised it only went down to 59 volts. I did fully charge these for this, but uh, yeah, it shows it can do it. Some old cheapo recycled uh, batteries I got for nothing. Well, there we 